Dave, after two very tough defeats against Gloucester and Leicester to take, how important was today's win? Oh, pretty big for us. Obviously, we wanted to get back on track, um, winning ways, um, and we kept, we got came away with five points, which we're really happy with. But obviously, we gave them a couple, which um, I'm sure will get brought up in the week and be addressed. Real energetic performance, especially first half, though. You really yeah. came at them. Yeah, I think you know. Obviously, we had the week off last week. Um, we were pretty much told to to make sure that we came back energised, and I think most people um, took that and rested up well. And obviously, the performance in the first half and a lot of the stuff in the second half showed that um, that we were a bit more energetic and alert for for everything. Well, we now know what Europe is going to look like for the future, but uh, obviously, yeah. the boys want to be in that top competition, don't they? And you saw the desire there today. Oh. Yeah, um, like you say, seventh place is now uh, up for grabs. Um, I'm not sure we can still get to sixth, but like you say, like it's a um, really important end of the season now for the club and, and for the team um, to get us into that Heineken Cup or Champions Cup um, for next year. Um, obviously, that's where we want to be playing. Um, you get the, the great away matches in Europe, and obviously, you get the, the big guns coming to your own home turf as well which is fantastic and um, we want more of that so we saw Worcester's fighting spirit they're determined to go down with a bang though aren't they exactly I think um, obviously today was massive for them I think if they'd won today then uh, mathematically they can still stay up I think um, but to be honest they've, they've been in they haven't they've never lost by you know landslide margins really they're always a team that's sticking in around there and um, they're a good side um, there's a lot of things that just don't quite go their way and um, it seems um, I remember watching Wassoni here on TV a few weeks ago and they lost the last play which is unfortunate for them but you know we weren't coming here thinking about them until we were concentrating on, our, on ourselves and putting in performance that you know is more like us and that we're proud of. In terms of next week though it sets up massively now with a with a huge game against Sale. Yeah um, obviously with them losing last night and and us winning here, I don't know quite what the table looks like at the moment, but um, I'm pretty sure that we're all in and around each other. So Wasps have lost as well today, so yeah. Right. Yeah, so well, like you say, then um, table's probably changed a little bit, um, and we, you know, really got to go hard. It's our home ta- um, turf. We beat them up there as well, so we know we can do it. Um, but we need to, you know, produce the attacking stuff that we did today, which was fantastic. But iron out the mistakes. Um, you know, hopefully we can come out of a victory. You know, from playing Sale in the past, so they're they're a tough old side. They'll, they'll yeah. really come at you. Yeah, they got you know they got experience halfbacks. They've got great back row, um, do- real dogs on the floor and stuff. So you know we know where they're strong. Um, but at the same time, like I said, we've we've already beaten them this season. Um, we can take that confidence into the game. Um, and I think we know that if we we turn up and we deliver what what we planned in the week, then you know we're pretty unstoppable at the points. Another try for Dave Lewis today. Yeah, um, got myself over there just about. Um, but Is it going to be 50 metres by the end of the night? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it was maybe one or two. Um, but um, no, it's nice to get over. But it was, it was just nice. I think um, first half, especially, we played some really good stuff in attack, um, and all the tries I think were pretty good. And your halfback partner was on form as well today. It's not, yeah. not just with the boot, but he, he really his attack attack game really came to the no, fore. No, no, no one seems to want to tackle him, which was <laughs> nice. Um, but no, Cena played really well. Um, but so did everyone else. You know, the forwards were, were carrying really hard, which was giving me and Steno front foot ball, and then the outside backs as well were, were carrying well and opening up spaces. Which, you know, for a defensive unit, when you've got threats all over the place, it's hard to put, you know stop everyone. So um, I think and Steno, to be fair to him, he picked out the, the right gaps. 